Traffic lights at Shilburn intersection have been commissioned. Community outreach initiatives spreading awareness on environmental sustainability and WASA announces water restrictions for Tobago. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The new traffic lights at Shirvan Junction have been commissioned. Here are the details. The new traffic light system has been commissioned and is now in use. The state-of-the-art system will minimize the likelihood of accidents at the busy intersection. Secretary of Infrastructure and Public Utilities Gary Melville says he's happy that the project has been completed. We at the division recognize the need, urgent need for this solution. And we are very pleased this morning that we can be able to deliver to the people of Tobago, to the road users of Tobago, the drivers of Tobago, and the pedestrians this um, new traffic signal. Mr. Melville is urging road users to be patient and obey the signals, and he says there shouldn't be excuses for breaking the law. The division wants to assure the public that we will continue to focus on road safety. In the coming months and so on, um, at various locations around the island, we want to treat with the issue of indiscriminate speeding by putting down speed bumps in, 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 in safety zones in school areas, as well as in some residential areas. This, he says, will ensure both motorists and pedestrians are safer on the island's roads. I'm Josan Brassi for Info Update. A workshop was recently hosted in support of developing positivity in communities across the island. Here's more. Our natural environment is critical to our survival. And the United Nations Development Program's recent community outreach initiative in Tobago is aimed at spreading awareness. Kava Bacchus, manager of Sustained TNT, a non-profit organization, says this initiative was aimed at educating Tobagonians about the need for environmental sustainability. The project that we're meant to be talking about today, which is the A Better Place project, that is a project that was funded by uh, the Jeff uh, program, and it's in two parts, two-part project. Uh, the first project was to produce the film, that's the first thing. Uh, as I said before, it's in five parts and it focuses on five different environmental groups in Trinidad and Tobago. The GEF Fund assists a number of groups and non-profit organizations and offers a planning grant of U.S. $5,000 as well as a small grant of U.S. $50,000. Teron Smith, a participant, says it's a welcomed support. If we could save the turtles, the hatchings that get killed in pigeon points every year, our vision is that in the future we could um, probably attract, um, use to swim with the turtles, like which is happening in Barbados. We could bring that in Tobago as our vision to create um, new attractions for Tobago. It's hoped that the projects will bring awareness and direct benefits to the island's environment. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. New water restrictions for Tobago have been announced. Caroline Wallace tells us more. The Water and Sewage Authority has issued more water restrictions for the people of Tobago. They are now advising the public that from midnight on Friday, the use of water hoses and any similar apparatus to water private gardens or wash motor vehicles is prohibited under the Water and Sewage Act. Wasa says the restrictions are necessary as recent rainfall has not been enough to replenish water stores following a harsh 2016 dry season. The situation continues to negatively affect production at several of the authorities' key water treatment facilities on the island. Wasa is also advising customers that Wasa has the responsibility for administering the island's supply of water and promoting conservation and proper water usage. Anyone who is found in breach of these restrictions is liable to a fine upon summary conviction. There will also be increased patrols by the authority to ensure compliance. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers and you've been listening to Info Update. <laughs>